Hello everyone! This is Raijin Raikiri and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox. When we last left off, we uh, invaded the Navy headquarters to get the Fishy Pirate's flag back. Then after that, we continued our, on our way to, to Grand Noah, which is where we are at right now. On the way though, we made a spree stop at a village called Finoa, where apparently there's news of a war about to, about to start, and well... <laughs> Going by video game logic, that's obviously something we're going to be a part of very soon. <laughs> now, before we get started, I uh, want to let you guys in on something. So, considering it's been a while since before I uh, resumed this thing for my last video, <laughs> it completely slipped my mind then, well, I can apparently add two more party members in my current party from this point on. So, instead of eight, I can have ten. That would certainly make certain things easier. I just, uh, added Sylph and Rami in there, cause, well, they've been good to me thus far. Hmm. So, so then. We're finally here in Grand Noah, so... Huh. I don't really know what to expect, so... Might as well start looking around. Hopefully we'll catch some tidbits about that war. Welcome to Grand Noah. Got a place in mind? Oh, that's just... Oh. It's just the director. On account of the war, we're strengthening our security. It's all also almost time for the Queen's Cup, so it's a time when a lot of people come and go. The Queen's Cup is a finding tournament held once every four years at the Coliseum. Valorous people from all over the world gather here to compete with their skills. I wonder if it's okay to be holding a finding tournament in the middle of a war. It's probably because of the war that they're going through with it to help boost morale. Are they also thinking about using the tournament as an excuse to recruit able-bodied volunteers? Oh, Sam, I'm interested too. Huh, so we're about to have ourselves a little tournament arc, aren't we? <laughs> Ugh, love to be a part of that. Hmm. It was Snake Tail, huh? Are you aware of the incident where all of Estes' residents disappeared? I heard a story that there was a similar incident in the fishing village to the south. There were rumors that Grand Gold was involved. I don't believe them. Some of that is beyond human understanding. To say Grand Gold was connected is a kind of a false rumor. There is almost no doubt that the Tartar Strip was involved. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about what forgot about them telling us about Esther and Fanoa. <laughs> Another place with no villagers. So what else do we? Item shop. So the tournament is drawing near, so you'll see strong warriors everywhere in the city. I'm also staying here to participate in the tournament. As a general rule, you must have a party to participate in the Queen's Cup. There are many contestants who are gathering party members, members in the city. In the tunnel east from here, there exists a small village called Yamatai. It's very quiet and a great place to relax. For a talk that some trouble has hit the place, the village chief made an appeal to the Queen of Grand Noah. Hmm. I think, I think I might have to go there at some point after all. But we gotta keep focused on our main agenda. Oh, no way, this is the end, not the item shop. <laughs> <clears throat> it appears the Queen of Sabas has suddenly become decent. I heard that she was being manipulated by suspicious monsters. The truth of the matter is unknown, but it seems it would be as safe to say Sabas has returned to our alliance. Sabasa will be making another expedition to the front line soon. Yeah, that was uh, quite a scenario to get, to get Sarah to snap out of it. Magic advice from Mephisto intervenes too much in military affairs and national politics. Some of the guys speaking behind the Queen's back say she is Mephisto's puppet. Incidentally, are you aware of the story that the Queen of Sabasa was being controlled by a monster? The same could even be happening in Grand Noah. Or not. Well, I'm totally getting Jafar vibes from wherever this Mephisto is. Okay, so what can we find around here? Tournament approaches, the number of long-term guests will continue to increase. I'll be even busier from now on. Hmm. Oh, there are a couple monsters here. We're also participating in the Queen's Cup. I considered it after gathering lots of information. Cerberus, the commander of the 2nd Regiment. Seems like a pretty formidable opponent. I better pair up my equipment and abilities for finding beasts. Focus the countermeasures against physical attacks by reinforcing my equipment. Beast Killer will be helpful too. 
In addition, pleasure attacks are invaluable each against beasts. All right, change your job to. <laughs> oh my god, do I really have to say it? Hmm. Is it fine to say it? Uh. Hmm. I don't know. Change your job to, uh. How do I say this? Ah, forget it. Change your job to prostitute, quick! No way! <laughs> Hoping Sonya would say something about that. I'm not of the Grand Noah Army. I came back here from the front lines to participate in the tournament. There are quite a few people like that besides myself. The front line won't be up full of holes. We're an impromptu party that just met today. Have you heard that the tournament will be a team battle? You guys don't appear to be in need of any more members. I <laughs> envy that you have lots of traveling companions. But yeah, there are ten of us. Not to mention, I literally have an army and ar army in my pocket in my pocket castle. If you need recovery, leave it to me. If I'm among your members, we're sure to win the championship. Hmm. Pretty sure I have a. Um, sorry if you can, sorry if you guys can hear a, va a vacuum in the background. My dad's vacuuming it outside my room. So let's see here. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to check to see if any of my guys are actual healers or not. Oh yeah, I promise he's a healer. Not Sylph. Don't think Gnome is either. What about Rami? Black magic, time magic. I know, I know Luca can heal us since he has, since he has healing skills. I think we're good. Although we're an impromptu team, we've got our eyes on the championship. That's the spirit. Want to participate in the Coliseum too? I consider myself to be fairly talented when I was young. Go west from the central crossroad and you can see the Coliseum to the north. Since there are signposts here, I don't think you can get lost. Thanks for the info. Feather. My older brother was born with a weak body. That's why he didn't volunteer for military service. That's why some people are saying things about him. I have no choice but to pray the war will end soon. Magical extract. They say I have such a weak body. Nobody really knows if I'll be dead tomorrow. I really stand the strict trinity of the military. I'm proud of my compositional abilities, so I'm currently com composing a brave march. Ms. Ellen like myself has to help this country somehow. I wonder if you would like to try the serum I invented. Once administered, you will quickly develop a muscular body. Um, prom. That's called a, that's called a steroid. Um, I think I'll pass. Yeah, never take steroids, people. Never. Otherwise, um, well, I think you already know. I take offense to the stories that my son is unpatriotic. There's even a guy who branded him a spy and for the military police. Ever since the army knows that he failed the aptitude test, he's never actually been in charge with spying. Still, I'm angry they even said that. My channel son hasn't troubled anyone. Small metal. My son is clearly unfit to be a soldier. What's the problem? It's a talent for musical composition. It's the power to sway people's emotions through song. So what, he's a bard or something? Godspeed then, young man. I wonder if the son of this house is unpatriotic. Even though the country is in this state, he won't volunteer for the army. Maybe he's a spy for Grand Gold. I hate them. I wonder if I should inform the military police. They are talking behind their backs. It, wait. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if I... I actually just found a mirror just like that. Mirror number 18. Until the... What the... Oh, don't tell me. <sighs> Firestone. Give me a moment. I wonder if the flowers that suck my stuff will grow up strong. Flowers? This man doesn't appear to be fertile. Okay. It's not the Coliseum, but here where I face defeat. No regrets. What the heck is... I f yeah, I figured as much. 
So who do we got this time? Search around first. Now obviously I'm gonna do this off screen, but... Oh. Hello. Julia. Hmm. Uh, I'm not even sure if I can even say that anymore. Um, I'll just, I know, I'll just say, I know, I can just say battler or something. That might work. You're a battler, aren't you? I'm confident in my skills, too. I bet it's 600 gold. If you win, I'll give you an accessory that strengthens normal attacks. Normal attacks? Huh, that could be useful. But no, not right now. That's too bad. You'll have to come back and challenge me sometime. Ugh, definitely know some people are into girls like her. <laughs> All right. Seems the King of Grand Gold is leading an inhuman army. Ant girls, magic dolls. Oh, it's dreadfully scary. Ant girls and magic dolls. Oh, we got a seahorse girl here. I'm looking forward to the contest tomorrow. I'll have to go to the Coliseum in the morning to keep my seat. Are you interested in fighting? No, not the fights themselves, but... <laughs> You're cute, too. Why don't you go to the Coliseum? I'm, I'm absolutely coming you. Okay, that was rather weird. I was dispatched here in accordance with my contract. We're patrolling around the castle town. Why is a marine wandering around this place? Hmm? What is that? They're so cute. I must protect those they will be harmed by perverts. What's he talking about? Were you not expecting to see there are almost no children in the city? Most of the families with children have evacuated the countryside. Once the Grand Gold Army marches through, this place will become just like Lima Village. During that, all the parents with children have fled the city. Didn't, huh, didn't even notice that. Oh, I get... Oh, this must be a diner. I have to eat whenever I can. The carefree pleasure of eating doesn't last forever in these times. Oh, an orc girl. I'm going to need a lot to increase my power for the tournament. Eat fish, they're full of energy. <laughs> the hospital under the front lines is already full. Injured soldiers are going to be sent back here soon. You might not be able to win. We should keep eating while we're still alive. There's still no shortage of food here, but if the war keeps going on, that might stop being the case. Let's eat as much as I can now. Yeah, yeah, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Got a lizard thief here. I came here looking to make quick cash, but everyone's going through our time since they're in the middle of a war. Welcome. Like for the menu. Oh, I got my stuff here. Let's see, rice ball, fried egg, hamburger steak. I'll buy a couple of these. Oh, fish and miso soup. Just being completionist. I surrender in the ants language is Sanihitana. Please don't kill me is the Irani Nene. What the heck? No, no, don't mind me. Um, do ant girls speak their own language or something? You know, I would have, you know, I would have assumed everyone here is of the same tongue. No way, this is a, wait a second, this game was made in Japan. <laughs> Our own flower. I'm looking forward to the Queen's Cup. It's the perfect place to watch strongmen be played around with by chanting women. I, I'm sorry, what? There's handsome fighters, I'll be sure to remember their names and faces, then I'll invite them afterwards to give them plenty of the best squeezing. Wait, what? How can I even tell the good ones from the plain just by their faces? Muscle's what's most important. Muscle! I'm all about the looks. It's only okay if they're novices, just as long as they're handsome. Hey, what kind of tournament is this? Like, seriously? What's going on here? My father's skills were top-notch, but his pride got wounded in the confusion at the Coliseum. Oh, I'm, I'm worried about... Oh, hey, it's the Kitsune duo. I'll get to them in just a moment. The disappearances at Esther are supposedly connected to the Tartarus Rift. At any rate, there is a large hole that can be seen from near the city. Blacksmith here, so if you want to compete in the Coliseum, I'd recommend forging some dragon scale equipment. However, it cannot be made without a dragon scale fossil. Now you'll have to gather a dragon scale fossil yourself, but the southeastern mines where they can be found are crawling with monsters. So you need strong equipment in order to gather a dragon scale fossil. My thoughts are going in circles. Huh. Fossil mines, eh? What was use of use of Coliseum participants? Now, what are you ordering? Make dragon scale equipment. I'm sorry, but without a dragon scale fossil, I cannot make dragon scale equipment. If you really want some, you'll have to get the scales yourself. There is a mine just southeast from here where dragon fossils remain. There are strong monsters running around inside, so you're best to gather them. 
So you guess I'll have to go there at, at some point. So what do we got here? Lightning Sword Flash? Laurel Rapier? Magical Claws? Bastic Claws? Magical Fang? <laughs> some of these look pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. Thunder Quake Hammer. Laurel Bow. Looks like I can make some, though. Like Amada Harp. Thunder Hawkeye. Crystal Flail Thunder. Sixto Fan. Magical Abacus. Magical Scalpel. Great. Musket. Pleasure Flower. Hmm. American Shirt Triple Plus. Shell Dress. Hmm. I'd like to make a few of them, but I, but I think I'm going to wait a bit first. Ah, excuse me. I'm a Minotaur Blacksmith Apprentice. I help out around here in exchange for learning the craft from the boss. Maybe I should have brought Poppy along with me in here. Okay, there's a weapon shop. Noah Bread. How about some Noah Bread? It's very tough and delicious. Oh, sure, I'll have some. I'll take five. <laughs> Check out this weapon shop. If we're talking about the best equipment in this area, that would be Dragon Skill equipment. However, you'll need a Dragon Skill boss in order to manufacture it. You can obtain the Dragon Skill boss from the mines just southeast of here. The tournament is drawing closer, so I'm sure many adventurers are diving into the mines. Me? As for me, I just fight it. Well, just fight it out with his Iron Sword. Dude, you need something way better than that. Kill the enlistment exam again. This is the eighth time already. But I won't give up yet. I'll do whatever it takes to join the army and fight against Grand Gold's invasion. Are you safe with that equipment? Fair into the Colosseum. Don't forget to prepare your armor here. What do you got? Good Dean. Because I don't have any of these. Wait. Whoa, jeez, they're expensive. Uh. Maybe I should I should second thought this. The weapons you're handling are inferior, your life will be endangered, and you will fail in your adventure. Don't let that happen. Please buy our weapons. What do you got? Jeez, look at the... <sighs> okay, how about this? I'll only buy what I need, what's necessary right now. Let's see. Lizard sword. I'll buy one of those. That's a whip. Green fan. Nick manuscript. Buy that. Let's see. Nine axe. Okay, I think that, I, I think that's enough. Jeez, I didn't think this stuff could be so expensive. How do I have anything worth selling, though? Ugh. Uh. All right, I forgot. I forgot. I got a bunch of these. What the heck am I doing? Okay, so I got that sword. Here it is. Increase my magic, but it does increase my attack strength a bit. Which was the one I got? Ah, uh, forget it. Don't have the time right now. Let's see. To the north of this city is Mephisto's Magic Academy. There she trains first class magicians. So when the students graduate and depart for the battlefield, this will be over for long. Before long. It's this curse! It is the curse of Tartarus! I'm almost certain we are being looked down upon by the goddess! Ilias is punishing us! Uh, talking a little crazy there, don't you think? Let me talk to these guys. Oh, not them. Mephisto is the savior who has appeared before Grand Noah. She will crush Grand Gold's tyranny and lead us to victory. Even those usually weren't interested in Colosseum are making a big uproar over it this time. Guess they want to shake off their war anxiety, even if just a little. I was planning to take the day off and watch the games on the day of the tournament. Everyone else seems to be thinking the same thing. But in the end, we have duty to fail on that day. Yeah, sucks to be, sucks to be you, but that's, but that's, that's a job for you. My grandfather and grandmother lived in Esta. They disappeared with everyone else. Esta's blockade and still off limits. I can't even go there. Ugh, after what I, 
me out. And after all this, after all the stuff I just bought at that shop, I really hope I can get more money at some point. The masses of our country are rather lacking in patriotism. Even in this city, I've heard opinions doubting that we will triumph. We must strike soon to thoroughly motivate the masses. People's hearts are united, we will defeat the invaders. That's the spirit. The guys who are far away from the front lines are acting all proud. I'm in a safe place, but I've been feeling guilty for those on the flip side. Hey, let's talk to them. Hold up. Yellow Thunderstone. These flowers aren't doing well. Oh boy. Okay. Let's have some more kawa let's have some quick kawaii-ness. Itsuni, how come flowers are so pretty? Well, you see, it's because the flowers that weren't pretty went extinct. Wait, what? You're so smart, Kitsune. You know everything. More or less correct. Uh... Huh. I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess if Promestein slightly agrees, I guess I can't exactly argue. Huh. I'll just leave it at that. So what does the accessory shop have to offer? Normal attacks become slightly stronger if you're equipped with the attack scroll. Even though it is still a plain attack, it can become surprisingly reliable. An accessory called a guard's charm can strengthen your combat abilities in towns. This strengthening is also applied to the battles of the Colosseum. Give the secret between you and me. Don't say. I should get that then. I want a reflect ring, but I don't have enough money. Yeah, I expected this. Thousand gold. Since I'm going to raise it 30%. Holy tome, dark tome, slayer tome. Oh, there's that attack scroll. <sighs> Why 300 more gold? I get that. Oh, that's the guard's charm. Jeez, 12,000? Oh boy. This game is gonna be. <laughs> Man, money farming's gonna be a B I T C H. Some monsters in here in this. Oh, oh, it's a monster shop. Ustro. I want to go out and see the Coliseum. All my time in the city. Can't drive enemies. What are you doing in this place? Hornet girl. Our Aram. What is the insect tribe buying in a place like this? If there were no decree prohibiting us from battling outside the village, I would punish you right here. The plant insect tribes from Plantsec Village. It's rumored that Alice the 17 forcibly ended that war. There's still some tensions. Phoenix Tale. The female novelist Arumaru has compiled a series called The Days of Love and Misfortune. Currently, seven volumes have been released. People around the world are waiting for the publication of her next volume. I hear Arumaru is a wanderer, so sequels don't come out very often. Huh. Elven Tool Shop. Oh, it's just a regular item shop. I got plenty of stuff. Hmm? Sure. I need some stuff here. Spider Girl. I'm on a sewing shop. Is there anything you want me to sew? No, not really. That's too bad. I'm not making any profit at all because I. I'm not even a spider girl. I'm a tarantula girl. I'm not very good at sewing, to be honest. And why are you running a sewing shop? I wonder if I should quietly pack up and return to the village my birth. Does that mean you weren't born in this town? In the forest area west of here is a place called Plantsec Village. It is a village only inhabited by monsters where various monsters live together. That is my birthplace. But it has become rather disorderly now. Since it's dangerous, I escaped to this town. The civil war in Plantsec Village was supposed to have been ended by Alistair 17th yet. No way. The civil war reignite again? Ugh. <sighs> Whoops. Uh, hang on, let me just... Be careful around the Gloria Pirates. That girl specializes in hunting pirates. Gloria Pirates are all female humans from their captain down to the underlings. Besides that, I've heard talk they're also good at... Ugh, oh, you've gotta be kiddling. Did I just say kiddling? What the heck? I've heard talk they're also good at battling. We've engaged in battle with the Gloria Pirates several times. They're really troublesome opponents. Beyond that, they seem to regard the fishy pirates as rivals. Someday we'll have to sell this dispute. Guess I'll no doubt run into them at some point. Gotta talk to this guy already. The war is intensifying, but will this year's battle tournament still be held? 
Got a priest here. Welcome to the church that looks like you could slide off into the water at any moment. Can I help you? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Whoops. Uh, the Kentaurus is running wild! Uh, I want to participate in the tournament and be played with by a big sisterly monster. But I can't take leave on the day of the tournament. My hopes of being played with in front of a crowd have been totally tragically destroyed. Uh, okay, seriously, what is going on? What kind of tournament is being held here? Love tail. That guy's got some weird fetishes, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Since they're going to the front lines tomorrow, I had a drink to lift my spirits, but... Ugh, looks like I'll be going to the front lines with a hangover. That's what you get, buddy. And... Uh, whoa! Jeez, this place is huge! Can't fight at all, but spectating at the Coliseum is my hobby. I come all the way from Sabasa this time of year. My departure was delayed a bit due to being caught up in the novel naval blockade. It's a good thing I left Sabasa earlier this time just in case. There are a lot of strong manly customers during the tournament period. I found myself a tough-looking hunk in then. Oh, uh, that's so typical. Welcome. Since it's wartime, people are relaxing and get into good spirits. There is a cave in the mounts west of here. If you make it through, you'll arrive at some ruins. I've forgotten the name of these ruins. If you were a scholar in the palace, I think you would know. Huh. The residents of Lima Village were annihilated by the Grand Gold Army. Besides the combatants, even the women and children weren't spared. Okay, that's just not right. Ant girls are heartless insects, and the magic dolls carry no emotions. They're just like killing machines. In order to take up an advanced job, you need to master an intermediate job. In addition to this, a job change item is also required. Here's the royalty of each country who manages these job change items for the advanced jobs. In other words, your feats must be recognized by a king in order to attain an advanced job. Incidentally, the Queen of Grand Noah manages the soul of the professional job change item. Soul of the professional? Dang. That sounds high quality. If you have it, it seems you'll be able to attain the advanced jobs for cooks and doctors. Okay, I better get my hands on that. Seems that the price of alcohol will increase next month. Mostly we'll closes on the front line, so there is a shortage within the borders. In a conversation I overheard, alcohol falls under fuel in military ledgers. That's supposed to be a military joke? I'm not laughing. Yeah, seriously, it's not good to drink. These often look at the wounded soldiers who return from the front lines. I must thank them for dedicating their lives to this country's defense. To defend my country, I volunteer for the front lines. I lost my right hand. Now I can keep on living after such a thing. Every time I look at this artificial hand, I lose hope for the future. I mean, war is never a good thing. Her Majesty the Queen is just a figurehead now. It is actually her magic advisor Mephisto who runs this country. In any event, this country has been taken over. No, no, you didn't hear anything. That was actually interesting. Freaking them all fired up. Now then, I'll be going to apply the Coliseum. So what do they have? Yeah, yeah, typical alcohol crap. Regarding information obtained by the investigation team about the disappearances in Esta, it seems that there were no signs of a struggle in the town. In fact, they say that the rooms were left in order. It's as if they suddenly they left suddenly out of their own free will. Is this just like what happened in Rubiana? Yeah, I remember that. Ends of a struggle, no wreckage, nothing broken. It's just weird, and Esther's the same apparently. I'm a fortune teller. The wear of the next Queen Cup, Queen's Cup, will certainly be Arthur, the commander of the first regiment. <laughs> I I I get that a second glance, man. Okay, so what's up with this Kentaros? I can catch her, that is. I'm getting more excited as the day of the tournament approaches. Uh... Huh. wonder what she means by excited. Okay, they give us explore this entire town now, so... <sighs> Buying things here is not gonna be easy. See that much. This one? Is this, this, is for, mm -mm. Is this really the time to be getting festive for a battle tournament? Even though the war's intensifying? Oh, there's still more. Don't volunteer to become a soldier. Why do you want to go to war? Natalie, this is to protect the city you live in. If this place were to become like Lima Village, I... Hm. I wish I had a girlfriend. 
Dude, come on, that's just creepy. Alright. I think that's just... that's about it. Oh, I talked to this guy already. Massivore's country are rather lacking in patriotism in the city. Triumph? Yeah, I think I've read that one. My fisherman buddies have gone missing. I told him to stop going to the Spring of Tapu, but... Spring of Tapu? You shouldn't approach the Spring of Tapu either. I've heard stories that if you set foot in there, you will incur the divine wrath of the water spirit. She's talking about Undine's spring. The spirit of water is in, is in a small spring to the west of the city. However, we'll have to hold off on meeting Undine. We'll go to the spring after we've finished all of our other business in this region. Alright then. This must be the castle. I thought about having an audience with Her Majesty the Queen, but right now, entry to the Royal Palace is forbidden. Since it's too much trouble, I'll return after spectating at the Coliseum. It's an uncivilized for sport, but it will become a topic of conversation after all. Gigantic monsters are incredibly powerful, as would be expected. However, I've heard that they're easily affected by a status abnormality called Minimum. That's well, the first I've heard of that. If you make them smaller, they'll be powerless, and you can eat defeat them easily. Speaking of skills, I can apply minimum to the enemy. The only one I could come up with is Fairy Dance. Give everything to me. Huh. So Silph has a use after all. <laughs> I'm kidding. Magic Advisor Mephisto. Is it really okay to give such a responsibility to a monster whose history we know little of? Mission, Mephisto has intervened in discussions of politics. I wonder if the, what the Queen did was smart. Hmm. I am a little bit worried now that she mentions it. Who is this Mephisto character? Echo Mata. <laughs> seen yokai all over the Noah region recently. Ever since the tunnel made it impossible to do so, they've been spreading tor- for our, Ah! Excuse me. They've been spreading outward from Yamatai. There does not appear to be any big trouble. It's because the yokai have coexisted peacefully with humans and Yamatai since olden times. Keijoro. I came from Yamatai Village to the east of here. Did you see the tunnel along the way when you came here? At any rate, the metropolis is fine. Nice. There's so much entertainment. It's like a city of dreams. Access to the Royal Palace is currently restricted during wartime. Tours of the castle and audiences with majesty are not permitted. Access to the Royal Palace is currently restricted during wartime. Tours of the castle and audiences with majesty are not permitted. So wait a second, I can't go in? Oh, travelers. Enter the royal palaces under wartime restrictions. Right now, tours are forbidden, and audiences with Her Majesty are not being granted. I didn't want to do this, but the situation being as it, being as it is... I am Sarah, Queen of Sabasa. I have traveled here under complete secrecy to speak with Her Majesty the Queen. Huh? Sarah? The Queen of Sabasa? Pardon me, but may I see your royal emblem? This is definitely genuine. Forgive me. Please, this way. Forcible entry no longer necessary. Combat mode engaged. Disengaged. Oh my god. Was she gonna just- Was she- Was she just gonna blast through the door? You cute. Ugh. Glad we avoided- Uh, seems we may have just avoided an incident. <laughs> huh. Classical music. How about that? That's pretty typical. Please go up the stairs ahead to have an honest with the Majesty the Queen. Where I know is a country that coexists with nature. We have more monster soldiers than any other country. Although we don't compare to Grand Goal as of now, the soldiers of that country consist of only ant girls and, aut and automatic girls. I'm a glorious son of Grand Noah's first regiment. Under the noble and beautiful regiment commander Arthur, I give everything I've got. Even the second regiment amounts to nothing but savages. Our regiment is Grand Noah's strongest. Arthur, fortune teller mentioned his name earlier. First regiment and second regiment of our army are key divisions of our army, but the two are also rivals, and it's worse that they don't get along well. They cooperate with each other just fine on the battlefield, but they never stop arguing at strategy meetings. Yeah, that's never a good thing. I'm from the second regiment. I hate how the first regiment acts so high and mighty. The second regiment is savage. They just call us brave. They just have to admit they're jealous of regiment commander Caesar. Okay, seriously, what is going on there? War of Grand Gold is still unfolding on the front lines. I'll be defending Her Majesty the Queen at her side. Grand Gold soldiers march all the way here. It will mean the final days of Grand Noah. I'll make sure the blow this castle dies on is one of battle. 
I'm a combat medic for Granola's 5th Regiment. Even now, I'm accepted as if I was born in Granola. It's very nice, I guess. This is the Soldier's Lounge. First and second regiment commanders have just returned. Oh, so I get to speak with them now, huh? It... Huh. I consider the odds of Regiment Commander Arthur losing to Regiment Commander Caesar to be one in a million. The Queen's Cup will end with Arthur winning the championship. Dark Elf. Regiment Commander Arthur is Granoa's strongest swordsman. She'll become the champion of the Queen's Cup. Oh, so this is Arthur and... Her head is in her... Is she a Dulahan? I am Arthur, Commander Granoa's first regiment. I was on the front lines for a long time, but the War Council wanted me to return to the palace immediately. As expected, you appear to be considerably skilled. Naturally, I'm planning to participate in the Queen's Cup. I must inspire to the troubled citizens to my swordsmanship. What the heck? That's... wait, that's Caesar and... Does she have three heads? Acting all heroic now, huh, Arthur? I can't wait to break that sword's snobby attitude of yours. Hmm. Full of hot air as usual. Are you also competing in the tournament? You seem to have some considerable ability judging from your appearance. I've been looking forward to when we battle the tournament. We shall find each other bravely and what's with the face. I'm the second regiment's commander, Caesar. I lead the bravest unit, Grand Noah. Hmm. You sound pretty strong. I can't remain silent while Arthur is participating in the Queen's Cup. I'll be participating as well to show the whole world which of a superior. Getting a little too competitive, aren't we? At best, you'll lose before you can even touch me. Don't oh, waste your breath, I'll throw all those words back at you! That's not to say I'm on particularly bad terms with the 1st Regiment. Our differences in character give us, give us many opportunities to clash in one way or another. Besides, I can't find an ally on the front lines. This term is just right for settling our dispute. Okay, I think I get it now. She's a Cerberus. <laughs> Our commander should have won the tournament. Regiment Commander Arthur's going down. And a wolf girl. Caesar's going to win the Queen's Cup in the end. Preparations for a congratulatory toast are already done. So these are the two. Hmm. And uh, if I'm going to be participating in this tournament, which I know I will, no doubt I'll probably be going up against them. Hmm. They sound tough, but... It can't be that tough. Hey. Hmm. Guess I'll know when I do. The unit I'm a part of will be moving to the front line next month. I've written a will of my family. What the heck is that? Wait, is that an ostrich girl? Yo, slow down. If my ostrich kick, I'll fight Grangold's army. Single-handedly, though? There are some people opposed to holding a fighting tournament under these circumstances. On the other hand, wouldn't the masses erupt with disgruntlement if we discontinued it? Yeah, you should rob people of a good show. What's this? The melodies I play can suit you leave it a little. Old people can help turn into the goddess for help. Be quiet, calm your mind and pray to the goddess. Oh. This will end soon. Love, Mighty Test Signature Song Night. It's absolutely wonderful. They're apparently a female composer, but nobody knows her true identity. I'm eagerly waiting news of her next composition. First mysterious author, now mysterious composer. Oh, another marine. This castle's really big. Doing patrols here is hard work. A serious marine unit was dispatched as reinforcements to the navy. If you'd appear, it suits us. <laughs> Too bad there are enemies right now, which is a shame. We must wage a decisive battle while we still have enough resources in this country. The rare relentless exhaustion of soldiers. It will become more disadvantageous as time passes by. However, it's unlikely we'll come out victorious if we face the enemy at all. We need to come up with a strategy that could turn this whole situation around. The general public is currently prohibited from entering the royal palace. Only believers who have a definite background with the church may be permitted entry. Yeah, well, I just stepped in, buddy. Even among the citizens, war anxiety is spreading. The number of people attending church has increased in recent years. First time since the great disaster that the church has been bustling, but in this context of war panic, I'm not exactly pleased to be honest. Goddess, please lead our victory to country to victory, and let, and let my husband, who was sent to the front lines, turn safely. Can't, can't always expect that. I'll never forget the atrocities that occurred in Lima Village. Goddess, and gold. 
Once the Grand Gold Army floods in this castle, I think I'll be spending more time praying to the Goddess. I'll be heading the front lines next month. Goddess, grant me your protection. My grandchild went off to war, got sent to heaven before me. Well, the Goddess can be. <laughs> oh my god, she's just sleeping! Ugh. Talk about sleeping on the job. This red carpet I was purchased at Sheep's Forest. It is among the highest quality items in the Royal Palace. Where is Sheep's Forest? It's located on a small island west of the Navy headquarters. There's no point in going there except we need a carpet. Okay. I was fighting in the front lines up until last month. Now I'm working in the castle. And go on automated doll soldiers. Oh, how horrible it was. What exactly are we dealing with here? You'll be among scholars in here. You may answer, but please remain quiet. I'm getting excited about what kind of research they're doing. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, I still haven't forgotten that one time promise scene freaking ripped on that one dude. <laughs> that is still by far one of my most favorite moments. Magic advisor Mephisto. I don't trust her at all. Excuse me, please forget whatever you may have heard just now. There are six kinds of statues that status abnormalities that can be cured with white magic. Poison, blind, confusion, silence, sleep, and paralysis. Therefore, cure will not work for minimum petrified zombie and so forth. Similarly, will have no effect on pleasure-based status abnormalities such as trance and seduction. If you have a mermaid or plant-based monster with skilled at healing, however, they will learn skills that can even cure those status abnormalities as they grow. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna think. Well, I, I do have mermaids on me right now, but I'm not, even, I'm not really sure if they're, I mean, if they actually fit that category, given what they are. The most famous work of the mysterious artist, Fur Almo, Smiling Lady. Oh, it's so magnificent. Although I've heard rumors of other works in the series, known as Angry Lady and Shy Lady, they have yet to appear in public. Oh, that's a lot of scholars. I felt like the tragedy of leaving the village repeat itself. I respect our thoughts are in agreement. Industries and academia are being mobilized to meet the demands of this war. I specialize in ther uh, ther 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 pharmaceutics, but what was ordered to study in the medical field. Some scholars have opposed this situation. I'm trying to do the best I can for the sake of my younger brother serving in the military. During the Battle of Lima Bridge, a golem from the enemy nation appeared. An opponent that huge is impossible to pose with ordinary soldiers. I've been reading through ancient books of magic to devise countermeasures, since it's the creation of magic it must have some weak point. According to a spy's report, there are research institutes equipped with sophisticated machina under the Grand Gold. When they acquire that technology, or such a technology flowed in from the ruins of Remina, I would love to see it. Of course you would, Prom. We knew that Grand Gold excelled in magic science and had been sending autonomous dolls at us, but why on earth are ant girls also integrated into their forces? Controlling ant girls should be impossible without their queen. Perhaps Grand Gold has devised a method for controlling the queen ant. Or rather, Queen Anne is manipulating the King of Grand Gold. That could be the case. There are rumors to the northwest from here on the other side of the mountain range. One is some old documents. They're called the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Minotaurs? And it's said that ferocious cow monsters roam about the place. Not just according to legend and truth, it's really just an old tower. Cow oh, girls, you say, huh? <laughs> you know, I think I might just want to go to that place. There are sprawling caverns beneath Undine Spring. They appear to be the home of the slime race. Hmm. Are you familiar with the legend of the royal family's blood? Then the blood of the royal family sleeps a mighty power inherited from ancient times. It's yet to be proven true by magic science, but once we became aware of the Grand King of Grand Gold's superhuman strength, we've been investigating this legend more thoroughly. Particularly among the Gold Royal family, their founder, the Magic King, was incredibly famous. There have been rumors and gossip that the current King of Grand Gold is the second coming of the Magic King. It is my responsibility as a scholar to refute these rumors with justifiable logic. It's not going very well, and I've become keenly aware of my own powerlessness. Adam Tree Monsters has been confirmed at Plantsick Village. Well, just a little while ago, that, pl that place was in a state of calm. What happened there? Jeez. Oh, it really does pay. It really does pay to keep asking for info. You learn a lot of what's going on in the world. Custom has been made out of playing with defeated combats at the Colosseum. I'm totally envious. No, no, it's deplorable. 
Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? I think I'm starting to have second thoughts in this call this tournament. I managed to preserve the front near Lima Village somehow, but human casualties have increased exponentially, and we're in dire straits. Even with the reinforcements from Sabasa and San Ilya, we cannot turn the situation around. In the event of a war of attrition, this country will not hold out. And here we look after our weapons. However, how would Bilotti, Mr. Hero? Please come on in. We're going to lose this war anyhow. We're all going to get captured by the ankles and... And, um... Skillfully violate it. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but this annoys me too. On your matters during the audience. It is the duty of the Royal Guards to protect their majesty. Looks like a strategy meeting room. This is the meeting room. Yep, guessed it right. That must be the Queen. I'll talk to her in just a bit. This is the Queen's room. Yes, that you refrain from entering without a good reason. What? And I was able to enter without him stopping me. This is Her Majesty's room, but she doesn't seem to spend much time in it. She usually goes to the Metal Castle. No, no, it's not the Metal Castle. That's interesting to hear. We'll slay anyone who tends to harm Her Majesty. For the sake of my brothers who die on the battlefield, we shall defend Her Majesty. I swear absolute loyalty to Her Majesty. My life is dedicated to Her Majesty. Majesty this, Majesty that, my god. <laughs> Alright, let's finally speak with her. Huh, eh, not bad, I, I guess. Mm, Queen of Grand Noah. Welcome to my palace, Queen Sarah. I'm glad to see you overcame the troubles you were going through. Good to see you again, too. Sadly, everything Savaza suffered was due to my own inadequacies. I heard you temporarily abdicated the throne, but then your parliament reinstated you as queen. That's right. I still enjoy the loving support of the people of Savasa. Our country is now a constitutional monarchy with a parliament and a queen. Savasa sighed, I'm curious about the incident in Esta and its connection to Tartarus. That's an interesting topic. But first, how about you introduce your companions? Um, I'm... They're traveling heroes and experts when it comes to events surrounding Tartarus. Sabasa and San Ilya can vouch for their abilities. Therefore, we ask that you allow us to join the investigation into the disappearance of the residents of Esta. Promise it will be beneficial for your country as well. Permission granted. I'll make the, the arrangements at a moment, Your Majesty. Really? A sun interruption? Come on! You have an objection, Mephisto. So that's Mephisto. So she really is a monster. I wouldn't presume to second guess your decisions, Majesty. However, please allow me to introduce myself to the hero Luca and his companions. I am Mephisto, magical advisor to Grand Noah. I have a magical education and provide counsel to Her Majesty, the Queen. I am the hero Luca. Nice to meet you. I am his companion Alice. Nice to meet you, young heroes. Now, about you join the Esta investigation team. Needless to say, the Esta incident is of utmost concern to our country, especially given the rumors that it may have been the result of a covert military operation for by Grand Gold. In light of that, I wonder if we should involve our outsiders in the investigation so casually. In other words, you oppose any of them to the investigation team. I don't oppose it. Rather, I simply think it necessary for them to demonstrate their talents. It just so happens that the Queen's Cup is being held in the Coliseum in three days' time. Why don't you participate in the tournament and show us what you can do? We're going to find the Coliseum? Boss and Senilia both vouch for you, surely winning a little tournament is child's play. Right, Queen Sarah? Well, that's not... Francis... Sarah glances over at me. I confidently shake her in silence, complain. Well, I'm not gonna complain, obviously. And you know what? Bring it on! I nod confidently to Sarah. We have no objections. Assuming we're allowed into the investigation team, we demonstrate our strength in the tournament. Excellent. 
Is that satisfactory to you, your majesty? It is. Win the Queen's Cup, and I shall permit you to join the investigation team. As you wish, your majesty. I shall see you at the Coliseum three days hence. And she's gone. That concludes your audience. Please do not fail to win the Queen's Cup. We promise that we shall be victorious. Thank you for taking the time to see us. Martial Arts Tournament. Thank you. Thus, we end up going along with Mephisto's proposal to enter the Queen's Cup of the Coliseum. You need to first register for the tournament at the Coliseum's reception. By your matches. That includes your audience. Please don't fail the Queen's Cup. Okay, but where even is it? And so we were given much info. Have to win the Queen's Cup. There's such a thing. There's such a strange thing to ask us to do. Uh, excuse me. That's such a strange thing to ask us to do. So what? It's a great chance to increase the reputation of the fishy pirates. My club will sing as it slices through the. Dang it! Sorry about that. Why are you and I such high spirits? You're actually in high spirits yourself. You can't hide your excitement from me. Anyway, that Mephisto sure is suspicious. She already knew who you were before anyone said your name. I agree. It's one shady looking advisor. It's also strange that someone as wise as the Queen of Grand Noah goes along with what she says. I actually missed the fact that she called us that she actually called me by name. Huh, that was a good catch. Speaking of which, the Queen didn't look like she had been brainwashed. She seemed perfectly in control of her faculties. Well, let's win the Queen's Cup first. Many powerful monsters enter, so this won't be easy. We can gather fossilized dragon scales in the mines of the southeast. If we get some of those, we should be able to make items out of dragon scale. We can use better equipment before signing up for the tournament. But I'll leave that up to you. Valuable ore in the mines of the southeast. I feel more confident in the tournament if we crafted gear with that first. Okay, let's go. Huh, well, how about that? I guess I might as well take a look at that place. I wonder what I can find there. Wait, is that it right there? Hmm. Oh! This is the place! How about that? <laughs> <clears throat> There are supposed to be fossilized dragon scales lying around this cave. I definitely want dragon scale equipment so we can dominate the tournament. Well, guess we might as well look around. I wonder what kind of treasures we'll find in this place. Well, let's get started. I'm quite certain there are, there are gonna be some monsters around here I haven't seen, so I better be careful. No, excuse me. I better be careful. Let's put some people around. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put Rami up front here. Alright. Treasure chest right there. Sea of skill. Alright, what do we got? What in the... Oki Mushi? They're so tiny! Well, they are new monsters. Might as well give them a shot. Take a fire rat. Okay. I want to eat an apple. I'm not sure you can have one. They are actually kind of cute, though. I can't even tell what they're supposed to be, though. Webbing? Oh jeez, that's not good. They're pretty tough, huh? One. That's it for them. Didn't suffer too much damage, so... Keep going. What the? What's the Kentaro's doing here? 
They say this used to be a dragon graveyard, and over the years their scales fossilized. Really? Oh, you've gotta be kid. Wait, what? A box girl? What the heck? Uh. Uh. Hey. Um. I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, it's not a mimic this time, but no, she's still a mimic-like monster. Therefore, she must die. She at least know what I'm dealing with, though. Regardless of what she is, she's a new monster. Probably don't need to. We don't need to. Probably don't need to bombard it. something else. Whoops. Uh. I'm gonna use support bombardment just to be safe. Do you have anything to keep a secret? Something bad I did, I guess. I wonder what you did. Actually, it worked. I just guessed. Of course. Uh, oh, great. I should have guessed. Great. Are you talking to her? I can tell she's. From my experience with these mimics goes, they're very dangerous. I'm still living in my own box world, but I'm actually good at dairy farming. Huh, she kind of does look like she is. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Better recover us. Wait, what? You have to switch out. I got the support of the barman at least. You have to switch Bonnie out. I guess I'll put Alice in there. Talking again. <laughs> yeah, this might be a good idea. <clears throat> Screams of men, surely they are screams of pleasure. Ugh. This thing really is dangerous. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that thing's that thing's hard to get rid of. But Ash
cake for me, and I only have one to give her. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> I guess that was one way to beat her. <sighs> Hope I don't run into another one again anytime soon. Let's get these two back up. Er, uh, one of them. I'm telling what we're gonna run into in here. What the? Ugh, that must have been a dragon. Wait, like an actual dragon? Hmm. An o okay, well, another Okimushi and a spirit girl, huh? Huh. Why are they so small? Uh... Give this. Okay. Huh. Some odd enemies I'm running into, but it doesn't seem like I have to worry about censorships right now. Another Auron flower. Battle helm. here yet. Minecrest. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh okay, there's the stairs down. Okay. What if it's on this floor? Swordsman, there should be dragon scale fossils on this level. I'm going to win that tournament. Sorry, buddy, but I'm getting that, but I'm getting that medal. I mean, I'm get- Ah! Never mind. It must be tough just to get this far for an ordinary swordsman. <laughs> You'd say that. Another small medal. we can find around here. Oh, we got some more bones. Okay, that battle just... Free circles, uh, job skill hunter level 10. We got to change that later. Oops. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Ugh, okay, that was just plain rough. Marshall, I lost... Honestly, and actually went down under during that. Okay, let's get it back. I should keep Naruko up front for right now. Oh, Thunderstone. No running. I should ease up on the right. Then... So what do we got in this thing? Still has thief, so dragon scale axe. Whoa, I like that. 
So that's an actual dragon scale weapon and yeah, no, you can't tell dragon scale fossil is. So we'll go check it out. Oh, <laughs> about time. You should take me along, big bro. I'm bored of this place. All right, we got another one, folks. Welcome to the welcome to the party. Now go now go to the pocket castle. Hmm. Okikumushi. Is this just your name? Or maybe not. I don't know. That's just what her monster tile is called. All right, this has gotta be it. Dragon scale fossil obtained. The fishy pirates have seized the dragon scale fossil. This should be good enough to create dragon scale equipment. Let's hurry and reinforce our gear, then register at the Coliseum. All right, we got what we came here for. Uh, we just here it is. All right. All right, I think we're good to go, but I think we've done enough for today. So yeah bit of a wars going on and things are looking good for Grand Noah. So in order to prove ourselves, we're going to have to win this tournament. And I, I just hope this Dragon Scale stuff will really help us out here, so... That being said, um, I'd like to thank you guys again for watching, and next time, hopefully we're going to be tackling on the tournament. We are going to win big! <laughs> Until then, this is Roger Ride Carry, and I'll see you guys next time.